Hey, welcome to my new Touch Designer tutorial. It's about um, GLSL Compute Shader and um, Agent Simulation System. Build it using this technique. We will not build everything from scratch. Uh, that's a briefly explanation of uh, this setup. I write a little article about uh, Compute Shader and uh, GLSL code. So check it out. So let's dive into this network. Uh, but first of all, I want to show you a patch that I made on uh, JavaScript. And this is um, also the agent simulation. But as you see, uh, it has only 400 agents now. But FPS is um, really low and uh, it's slowing down when the amount of agents uh, start to increase. So it's about a 15 or even 10. This happens uh, because the system operates on the CPU and to calculate agent interactions uh, we must process uh, all agents uh, through this loop sequentially. In other words, um, this is truly a bottleneck of this setup and no optimizations can achieve real-time performance for a large number of agents. So, okay, let me close it. Let's take a look um, at our system. So we, mm, we create a texture that contains all data about our agents. Uh, this is uh, position data uh, for X and Y axis and uh, size for each uh, agent. So we made a feedback loop uh, and use this data for instancing uh, red to green channel for position and uh, blue channel for scale size and uh, we oops we instance uh, simple circle render uh, camera so that's it and here in JLSL talk we work in Compute shader mod. And all computations for agents take place here. I created a simple um, chop system to calculate the texture size and uh, number of agents. It's simple um, multiplying uh, these two numbers, uh, local size for each working group and uh, amount of uh, work groups. Um, I prefer not to change uh, local size because it hard coded in uh, in our compute shader code here and uh, GLSL top by itself and um, have this um, auto dispatch size. And if you turn it off, you can see how how it looks like if we create only one work group. So it's a one work group, 16 by 16 pixels. And the new version of uh, Touch Designer, we have this uh, mode with auto dispatch size uh, that um, the GLSL top automatically determines uh, the number of work groups required to cover the entire texture. I use this uh, because it works really well. But you need to create the texture of uh, appropriate size so it fits entirely with the specified work group sizes. Let me zoom in to see how it works. We create uh, some variables uh, to control this uh, simulation. 
attraction. Let me zoom out. It works very fast compared to the CPU version. We currently have 25,000 agents and the entire system runs at uh, 55 FPS. Yeah, we can increase to this amount. I think, yeah, that's too much. Let's make it 14. Yeah, maybe 13. Yeah, yeah, 30 FPS, so it's uh, in real time. I described this code in my article on Patreon. This uh, basic setup is that use uh, compute shader without any additional optimizations. However, for the next tutorial, I wrote a version that uses shared memory for exchanging information within workgroups. Shared memory is an um, extremely fast memory, so the performance boost is uh, significant. I'll show a comparison. Let's increase amount of engines. Make it 70. It works with 49 FPS, but it it's uh, 73 thousands agents. And if I switch to old mode, yeah, it's really slow, about 10 FPS, 12. So it's uh, four times faster. Yeah, and it's also works really well so that's it subscribe to my patreon soon i'll release the next part of this series where i'll continue optimizing the system adding more complex agent behavior logic and introducing a third dimension for the movement all the best bye